Hello everybody, this is Frogman and welcome back to Ultimate Alchemy. This is going to be episode 24. Last episode we did a bunch more fooling around with the uh, Thomcraft setup we have going on over here and I got a few things sorted out made, got a couple little candles down and some skulls. I don't, like I said, really plan on needing a whole lot of stuff with this. Uh, I, I went ahead and made the pickaxe of the core like I had said that I wanted because I really like this pick. It's a pretty good pickaxe. And I also made the sword of the Zephyr just because it's a fun sword to play with. We're going to have to fight um, a couple of mobs. We're going to at least have to fight Gaia once. So this will come in handy later on, at least as far as that fight is concerned. It's not a big deal. If I can get halfway through to the stage where, where he starts dropping a whole bunch of mobs on me, that'll kind of help do a little bit of fun. There's, there are multiple ways of doing that battle. We're going to have to do it eventually because we need the Gaia Spirit. So uh, last episode, we got the first easy part of the dragon head, which is the zombie brain, which is at the top of the list. Now we have to start working through all of these little things. So what I want to start working on is the process that uh, takes us through dragon's breath, as well as I think it's the dragon's eye. Part of those two things are going to require us to start working with void metal and void metal seeds. So let's see if I can get void seeds up here. The Void Seeds, Void Seeds, these guys right here. We need several of these, and we have, I have managed to get a few of the Miniature Void Seeds, which is a good thing. So the process here is what we're going to have to do is set up a Phytogenic Insulator so that we can run Flux Phyto Grow with Miniature Void Seeds or, or the regular Void Seeds here so that we can possibly get a chance to get an extra one periodically. This is the only way to get Void Seeds as far as I know. Um, I know there's probably still the function of Thomcraft to get it, but that's one of those. We're not going to need a ton of this stuff. It's another one of those. We just need a couple of things. And yeah, Void Metal Seeds is the only way they're letting us get this is that. I'm pretty sure, and I'm pretty sure that they, he's removed the way to get Void Metal the normal way. So um, I believe that's under Alchemy here. Actually, it's probably back a few, but it, it doesn't really matter. We're not going to need a lot of it. It's another one of those. I'm really not going to try to spend a lot of time with Thomcraft because I really don't want the side effects that come with Thomcraft to finish this playthrough because we still have quite a ways to go. So two things I want to start with. Let's start with the chorus stuff, the chorus things and stuff. Liquid chorus is going to be needed to create void vapors. Void vapors are going to be needed to create the dragon egg that we will need eventually. It will also be needed to make uh, the dragon's breath that we need for the dragon. So we're going to start with the liquid chorus because apart, apart from that, we also need crystallized chorus chunks. Crystallized chorus chunks are made for logic directors and logic directors are going to be used for the two dragon's eyes that we need. So a bunch of more stuff that we're going to work with. So let's start down that process. Liquid chorus is made with protein soup in a fermenter with an ender pearl. And that's all over there. So let's see if we still have some protein soup sitting around which i believe that's what that is right yes cool we still have quite a bit of that um and this is full of protein soup wonderful so all i need is some ender pearls ender pearls grab that many of them i can for that matter make a chorus fruit system and we might even do that for that matter so let's see uh chorus flower is craftable with a block of liquid chorus and a white tulip or I think any kind of flower for that matter. That requires endstone to grow, at least at this point. So um, I think ender air, yeah, we, I don't know, can we make ender air? That bottle, can I make this stuff? So that's void vapors once again. We're down that line of void vapors. So what I'm going to do is we're probably just going to go ahead and get some of that stuff going. And I need a tank. I need a tank, 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 tank. Tank. Give me another one of these, please. Thank you. You get out of the way. I don't need this right now. Uh, I love that. What am I doing? Come here. You go right there. You go right here. So we'll make a bunch of liquid chorus. Uh, we're not going to need a ton of this. Again, it's one of those we need to make it so that we can make a few things. So let's get some more ender pearls. Go in there. I forget. That stuff works in a garden close, right? Uh, chorus. 
flower. Does that work in a garden cloche? I think. Maybe. Except I still think I need the end stone. So it's one of those. Phytogenic insulator would work at that with that as well, I believe. So we're going to get a bunch of this. And we're going to let it run. Actually, I'm just going to go ahead and make a bunch of that. Why not? Give me another set of those. Thank you. We still have plenty of biomash. And that now has almost eight buckets. Cool. Okay, so liquid chorus. The first thing we're going to need out of that for sure is uh, do the chorus. It's easier this way. If I can spell. We need these guys. Crystallized chorus chunks are made out of crystallized chorus, which is made out of taking either a casting of a block of liquid chorus, or we can use a drying basin with, a, again, a thousand millibuckets of liquid chorus to make the blocks. So we need, uh, I believe I'm going to only need about, what, maybe one or two blocks, I think, because we need to make four of these. Yeah, we just need about two blocks of that stuff. So what I'm probably going to do here is do I have my... Do I have any more of these? Because that one's full of lava. I do. Come here, you. Uh, you probably don't have any power. Can I just do this? We'll put you down right here. Give me a bucket. Bucket, bucket, give me a bucket, craft a bucket, thank you. I don't know where those all went. Can I place this in that? Yes, I can. So that should make one block. Let's make one more. Thank you. And those will get us our crystallized chorus chunks. Wonderful. So that's the first part of a few things. So uh, let's see. Uh, that was an ender eye. I, 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 I believe is going to be that thing, which is these guys. So we need eight total of those. Need a little bit more crystallized mineral. Do I have any more crystallized mineral? I do. Cool. All right. That click done okay so i'm going to place these guys in a project chest somewhere uh where is my thermionic fabricator do i not have one of those yet hmm, i don't know uh chest let's just grab a regular old workable chest here and we're going to place this guy in the way so that i know what we're doing so this is going to be the dragon head chest for parts that we need so i'm going to place that in there that's the first steps of those things so now we need dragon's breath a dragon's breath is going to be dragon's breath here made in an immersive engineering refinery with void vapors and now we have plenty of li uh, liquid chorus so we should be good to go with this part and like i said if i feel oh chocolate shells very nice um if i feel the need we can definitely continue on down this line that's cool i'll have to remember that uh so we have plenty of this stuff in here now there's 10 buckets perfect so i'm going to go ahead and grab that tank and put this tank in here and now we need to start working on the void seed problem so void seed problems we need to be making this anyway so i'm going to hope that by taking one of these miniature void seeds that we currently have and putting it into that we can run it through a phytogenic insulator so void seeds i do have two of them and i think we made one of those time machines a while back actually i know where i put it it's over here sitting on the capacitor that i made a bit a while ago and we make it this time yes awesome yes there is a time machine sitting right here you're going to get one of those now that's supposed to take five minutes and i think if i remember the only way to really make this thing speed up is going to be oh we'll get it there good I was going to say I could throw some speed upgrades in it, but it's doing a good job. There we go. Cool. One void seed. Hang it. Come here. Magnet. Don't do that. Nothing new can be learned from this course because I already know what it is. All right. Uh... Now, we need to go make some other fun stuff. And I think I was starting to work on this process, and then I decided to quit. Uh, yes. No. Where did it go? Where did I put those things? I probably didn't set them up yet. Uh, top. 
Okay, so we need a phytogenic insulator. So phytogenic insulator is this guy, and this is going to be a lumium gear, which is something we're not currently making. Lumium is made with aluminium, aluminium blend, aluminium blend with pulverized tin and silver grit. So we need one gear. So let's get some tin. One, two, three, four. Silver. Uh. Craft one of those then. Thank you. And then you can do this. And then I need a block of glowstone and a bucket into this. And that's not going to work because I have a filter in between those two guys. Let me see. Where did I put this? I need my wrench. Thank you. Or did it work? Uh-oh. You just crafted that into a... What are you doing? Okay. You didn't put it where I figured you would put it. Okay, cool. I'm just going to grab that right there. Take it off. Hey. Export. Thank you. Where is my wrench? Did I take that? Where did the... Uh-oh. Uh, that's cool. Where did it go? Did I lose... Oh, there it is. I was going to say, where did my uh, thing go? Okay, so you should be done, and you are good. So let's get you out of the way and put this filter back. Bookie noises. You go on there, go in here, and you go back. Okay. Glowstone bucket. One bucket of glowstone will make some aluminum. Aluminum should make some aluminum, right? Just need four of these. Aluminum blend is a bucket of glowstone. Thank you. And then that has to get put into a what? Induction smelter with a little bit of this or an arc furnace eye. So we can just go throw him in the arc furnace since that's pretty simple, easy to do. Do. Spread out. Okay, cool. Phytogenic insulator, P-H-Y, should be able to be crafted most of this now. So this is just dirt, some copper gears, some redstone reception coils, and one lumium gear. So gear, make uh, two of those, start coil, uh, redstone reception, start coil, and we need a frame, start, go, and a phytogenic insulator. Thank you. Very much. Okay. Um, this guy's going to require water, and I don't think we're going to be able to do that easily up here. And the other thing I'm going to do is you're going to get upgraded max tier quickly as we can. So upgrade uh, that one, that one, and that one. Thank you. That one. Thank you. One more. Come on. You could do it. Well, what augments go in this one? I forget exactly. Uh, Non-fertilizer inputs are not consumed. Uh, improving automation provides minor chance to not consume fertilizer. And I think that's the one we want, which means we need to make some fluxed phyto grow and a few other things here. So that's definitely something that I can do. I believe I need an energetic infuser, which I have over here. So we were going to possibly, I think that's what I was going to do, is going to be working on automating that process. So let's make a quick fluxed phyto grow. So fluxed Phyto grow is a phyto grow, which I think I can craft this one, or is it this one? Which one were we making? That one. That one, and then we're going to run that through this guy.
Thank you. Alrighty then, so I need the augment for that. So the augment on here is going to be monoculture cycle, which I think the only thing that's really going to be hard is the signalum gear. So coil, we need this one. And a signalum gear. Uh, craft one of those, please. Coil. I hope it's that one. I think it's that one. And I need that. Come on. You can do it. This should be done. There it went. Signalum gear, augment conductive cycle, get that in there, awesome. So that should be, the chances of like, say whatever that one was, let me see, um, augment. Non-fertilizer inputs are not consumed. Improving automation provides a minor chance to not consume the fertilizer, which means it's not going to consume the miniature void seed and produce another one, which means that 150% should mean eventually we're going to get more of both of these. So we just need some power and some water right now because I stuck a whole pile of that stuff in this one, and we're going to have to speed this guy up. Do you not have any? You don't have any augments in you. What are you doing? Oh, augment. I need that one. I can't believe I still haven't automated this. One, two, three. One, two, three. Good. Give me that. That's better. <laughs> wow. And then we'll do that again for this guy. So two of those. One, two. And one, two. Must go faster. Must go faster. Must go faster. Thank you. Awesome. Cool. Let's plug you in downstairs, find some water, and we'll see what happens with this. I need to put you in. There's some water right here. Uh, yeah, there. No, that's liquid blue. That should be here. Let's do something like this. And I'm going to need my conduits. Want some of this, please. And I want a filter if I have any. No, go ahead and make me a couple of those just in case. And then I need my liquid. Or is it fluid? Fluid. These relays and a wrench. That one. Thank you. Cool. All right. So we're going to set you up for. Get rid of everything here. This just take water, however. So if I just put this on this, it's just going to get water? Is that what you're telling me? It's been a while since I've had to fool with one of these. Very cool. So if I put that in, no, I want you in here and a bunch of that. You are going to start working very slowly on this. And what I'm going to hope is that after two or three cycles of this, we're going to get at least another couple of these. And I think slow. Yes. Excellent. 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 <laughs> All right. We need a, let's just get a drawer going. I think I might have a drawer readily available here, so let's get some of this. So, drawer, crab, no, we'll just use one of those. We are not going to keep a lot of this. Where is my key? Drawer key, drawer key, put the drawer key in the hand, put this up there, and then I go downstairs and grab the junk that's coming out of this. Thank you. Making attempts to use the elevator that I put in a long time ago. 
There we go. Cool. All right. Bottom. And then I should be able to hook that up to an export on this side here. One side or the other side. This side probably will work fine. Uh, let's do... I forget. I had to do something special to make this system work because this one is the input and the other one is the output. So we need to... Uh, did I? Did I? Did I? Did I? I didn't change any of this. What did I do? I forget. Did something. Oh, yeah, that's right. I started putting it back in this thing. That's right. Okay, so the input is on brown on that. So we're going to extract on brown, always active, and you're going to output on the top. Thank you. Okay, cool. So what I am going to go do now is I'm going to run a whole bunch of this Fido grow through that thing. We do not need tons of this. This is another one of those we do not need tons of it. So Fido grow is going to be this recipe here. So I'm going to go ahead and run a nut. Whoa, don't throw that on the ground. I've been in this bad habit of throwing things on the ground lately. Are you done? You're done. Good deal. We're just going to keep a little bit of that sorted. Bottom. Thank you. There you go, and we'll let this run. So that'll do our job for us there. So we need to now look at the void vapor problem. So this is going to slowly over time accumulate things, and these are useless, which is funny. So uh, let's see, void, 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 void. What am I doing? Void vapors. Void vapors is going to be melting this down in a magma crucible. Each one gets us a bucket. Each one of these is going to process and be able to make a owl an egg into a thing. So we're definitely going to need a dragon egg because we need to be able to make the dragon egg. Um, hang on, brain. Dragon. This thing, the dragon egg mill, we need this. So I'm going to go ahead and set that dude down for that right now. So let's melt. Uh, where's the bucket? We're going to melt one of those right now. I'm going to put you away so I don't lose you. One void seed, please. You go into this magma crucible. Thank you. We're going to grab that. Thank you very much. And I need an egg. I have a couple of eggs. I got a bunch of chickens down there. I think I did. I finally start voiding those chicken eggs, probably. And we're going to set this down here. Where are my, ooh, can I even do that in that thing? I hope I can. Uh, upgrades, speed upgrades. We're going to toss that in for there because I'm not going to wait for an hour on it. <clears throat> Make it again. Got it just barely. So you plus you plus that means 12 minutes which means it should be done about the time we're done with this episode, possibly. So cool. That I'll just let that run. That's all right. That'll do the job, hopefully. And then we can set the dragon egg mill up, and I can tear all those stupid water mills down. So that, well, we'll probably won't. We'll probably leave them alone. So, all right. We now have the ability to make the liquid void or the void vapors. Can we get to the next step, which is going to be building a refinery to process that with the liquid chorus into the dragon's breath? Yep, that's the only thing I need it for, I think. So, refinery. Uh, that is going to be fun. Where is my manual? Thank you. So, we need... Uh, that should be oil processing? No, it's not oil processing. It, 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 it Heavy machinery. Hello, phone. Yes, everything in the world. We know. Uh, that is going to require a bunch of steel scaffolding, fluid pipe, redstone engineering blocks, light engineering blocks, heavy engineering blocks, and iron sheet metal. Iron sheet metal. I think I might have enough plates currently to make all of the sheet metal we need. Maybe. Is that enough? Yes, so heavy light, redstone. Plenty of heavies. Put that down. Plenty of lights. Redstone. Craft one of those, please. Start. That didn't take very long. Uh, scaffolding, we're going to need more than that, so go ahead and make, I don't know, that much, and some pipe. Uh, need some iron plates. Craft stack. Let's 
scaffolding. Thank you. Where's my uh, projector? Projector, you are over here. Thank you. We don't need this. I don't need that. Um, we are going to need some kind of a fluid input on this, I think, because it's not going to let... Yeah, it should let me put buckets in. I think. So, plate. We need some pipe. The other way. There we go. Make some of that. Okay, I have no idea where I'm going to put this. Hey, stop doing that. Um, not that book. This book and that book makes the refinery. I don't think I'm going to have enough room down here. Oh, actually, we might be able to stick it over here. Let's see. Is there enough room right here? You could put it right there. Since it's nice and dark in here, we'll put a torch there and a torch there, and we'll build the refinery right there. That'll work. Uh, rotate. Two torches are in the way. Can I just stick it on, like, the wall or something? Actually, we'll just do this. That looks good right there. So, all right, we need the parts. Needs the fluid pipes, the engineering scaffoldings, and the those. So scaffoldings. Build this up. Whoop. Down. Light engineering block. Heavy engineering block. Pipe. And then we need the light engineering block. Heavy engineering block. Redstone block. And the sheet metal should just be too tall cool and do that in my hammer which is in my inventory there bang awesome cool do I have any of the of all that don't think I've got an available flux point at this point, so let's get an energy relay or laser relay. We have plenty of ra razor re-rays, uh, <laughs> and I should be able to hook it to that one right there. So give me you, and your power is back here. Thank you. And hook that up. Go. Okay, so, Dragon's Breath. Dragon's Breath is going to be a two buckets of Void Vapors, two buckets of Liquid Chorus. Makes a small amount of that stuff. So we're going to go ahead and take two of those, which you already have ten. That's awesome. And I'm going to run over here and grab the tank that I put in here. Okay. I need another bucket. Go. Should just be able to do that and that. And I'm going to place you down here. So where is the interface? Thank you. So I want you in here and you in here. Two buckets and then two buckets of this in here. Here, made us a bucket of dragon's breath, which I should be able to now pick up. Excellent. And then we need to take this and put it into a bottle. It should just be a fluid transposer with a bottle. Sweet. Can I make a bottle? Do I have a bottle? I bet I probably have a bottle somewhere. Where's my thing? Excellent. Bottle there, fluid transposer, you fill that. Right? Right? Dragon's breath. One bottle. One bucket.
What are you doing? How do I make one of these? Is that the only way I can make one of these? Am I missing something here? One bottle, one dragon's breath, thousand millibuckets. Thousand millibuckets. Am I at a loss for this? Give me this thing back. <sighs> dragon's breath usage is just to do this bottler, bottler into bottler, bottler does this, that, and this. Does it do a bottle? No, it does not do a bottle. Lovely. Fluid transposer. Fill. Fluid transposer. Fill. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's awesome. I have it. I just can't make it. So I think we will go ahead and cut that right here. I will figure out what the heck is wrong with that thing. Unless it's on redstone. No, it's ignoring. It, it should be running. I have no idea. Okay, whatever. Uh, I will cut this episode here, and I will figure out what the heck happened, and I think we will continue on in the next episode, but that's at least going to be technically the next one, which I can cheat that sucker in right now. I'm going to make sure that I have that legitly correct, but I, I, I don't know what's wrong with it. So, All right, guys, I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.